Hi, this is Ed Duclos, South Windsor School District, uh, Tech Content Coach. And today what I want to do is build on uh, Screencastify using the um, screencasts in your classroom. If you don't know how to uh, install Screencastify, please take a look at an earlier video. Um, and this is the second in how to use. This is thinking about um, a math class and you know with a typical give a handout with 20 examples, 20 exercises on it. Um, this would be an example of just saying taking one and seeing if the, if the student knows exactly what he or she is doing. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a new app as well. It's called a web whiteboard and when we do a search for that we're going to come down to uh, this one right here and that's actually going to give me when I go to start drawing that's going to give me a white uh, screen right here okay so now a web whiteboard right now I just did a, a quick tentative look at it and it's got a 4.5 rating out of 5 so I believe it's going to end up on the approved list so we're going to go with that um, first it allows me to change the color it allows me to change the width of the um, pen and then obviously different things along this line is okay but let's get back to instead of doing 20 assignments the students just gonna walk me through um, one let's go ahead and hit screencastify and in this one I'm gonna go ahead and do the tab only just this page it's all I need and I'm gonna record the tab it'll give me my countdown and at this point Obviously, I'm not going to be using the tools. I'm going to be using the web board. Okay, so the student is now talking, and he is telling uh, basically what he's doing. All right, I'm going to take one of the assignments, um, our homework assignments here, and we were supposed to solve for X. So... This is one of the examples, and let me show you how I'm going to do this. I know that whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other side as well. So if I'm going to su subtract 5 from one side because I want to get x by itself, then let me switch back here. I'm going to end up with 2x is equal to 8. Um, then what I'm going to do is I need to get x by itself. That means I'm going to divide. And whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other side. And let's get back here and get the answer. And that's going to be x is equal to 4. And then the student would come up here and would end the recording and as he or she ends the recording play it back and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy the link and everything is going to be uh, downloaded to the Google Drive of the student and then once he or she copies the link that's what he is gonna share back on uh, Google Classroom so I'm hoping you can see that just by having a, a student work through one um, one assignment, excuse me, one exercise, basically explaining what he or she's doing. I think you're going to get a pretty clear ind uh, indication of whether that student understands what's going on or not. I uh, hope this has been helpful. If uh, you have any questions, please ask and um, uh, let me know how, how I can help. Have a great day.